Hello, welcome to the second part of the tutorial um, Insulation for Sub-Zero What you will need is some artistic eraser faber Castell is probably the best and uh, most popular brand mainly because it uh, it's the nicest uh, to need and it peels off nicely and secondly you need some insulation tape pretty straightforward and some paper towel uh, basically, uh, for sub-zero insulation, what you need to do is seal up the motherboard, seal, seal all of these areas because when you cool your CPU with liquid nitrogen, it gets really cold and uh, basically this whole area freezes up, but this area might not be as cold to get frozen, but um, it still gets cold and when it gets cold water forms and you don't want water on your motherboard I've when I started I probably lost a few motherboards due to water creating a short circuit and screwing things up so basically what I'm doing is I'm sealing up the motherboard by just by kneading the art eraser into these gaps and areas just make sure make it nice and airtight and cover it up the motherboard I'm using is a Gigabyte UD5H pretty damn awesome motherboard for overclocking sub-zero would be a good idea to do some reading make sure the board you you want to overclock will actually work fine under sub-zero cooling it's a little bit of a tedious process but once you're done you can overclock for long yeah you can have longer sessions under cold and when you're done you can dry it up and then go again with the same installation you don't have to redo it there are other methods uh, like with Vaseline you can cover your motherboard in Vaseline which is also a good sealer but it's very messy or at least I don't like it um, you can you can clean it off um, easy enough as well just with a hairdryer then the Vaseline will drip off but I still don't like it also you, you can't really combine the two uh, you have to choose one you can't mix Vaseline with artistic eraser because it creates a sticky mess you really don't want that if you don't believe me you can try it you'll be sorry So what you want to do is mainly cover cover up till about here. You stop before these chips and also at the back here you can cover a bit because water forms at the back here and close to the edges. Also it's very important to protect your memory memory slots because with Ivy Bridge you need maximum temperature which means the lowest you can go which is minus 196 degrees Celsius which is pretty damn low and then this gets real cold and could create problems if you don't insulate it properly and if this is your first time you're gonna get very excited and then be very sad when something goes wrong within an hour if you don't insulate the memory area properly Yeah, I'm almost done insulating. Just just need to do this this bit, this last part. Just want to put some art eraser in there just to make sure my CPU stays happy and dry. Just don't put too much in here. You don't want it to interfere with your the level of your CPU because when you mount your container you don't want it to, to 
to cause any problems. Okay, now, now that this is done, I can show you what to do with the memory. For the memory, I have pre-cut a piece of tape and I'm just going to put it over, over the first slot and then just push it in between there. Just don't push any hard object too deep because there are little resistors at the bottom that might hurt so just be careful with whatever tools you use. Um, because I'm just sealing up the first slot because we won't use this one. We only need dual channel, so we only use the last two memory slots, which is what the board specifies as one and two. And we can just put the tape down, stick it to the auto razor so that it creates a good semi airtight seal there should be good enough then we will take a piece of paper towel we probably have to cut a little custom piece anyway just go create little slithers like this. If you want you can use other methods. Anyway is fine. Just make sure that you close it up. Because I guarantee you it will get cold and, f and frosty over there. So just use your brain and know that this area will get very cold because your memory has got coolers on them and then the coolers get cold from the CPU pot and then they make their own set of problems down there so just insulate it well don't forget about the memory You'll see for for the actual memory slots that we're going to put the memory in. I'm going to put some Vaseline in because they will be exposed. Unlike this one, which is closed, they will be exposed to water. Especially if you're in a country with high humidity, humidity, you will have memory problems. So this is what we got here: Vaseline. I use clear Vaseline without a fragrance. I don't know, some guys like scented Vaseline and ask me why. And then what you do is you just take your finger or what, whatever you want, paintbrush, doesn't matter, and put it over there. Put it, I know it looks nasty and ugly, and but it works and it's the best. Also, um, like I said before, don't get this close to your artistic eraser. It will create a sticky mess that you will regret for the rest of your life. There. Yeah. Just like so, or whatever. And don't worry, your memory will still make contact and work fine. I know this looks like it shouldn't work, but it does. And Vaseline is very safe because it doesn't conduct electricity, so you don't have you don't have problems. And basically, you can just cover up this whole memory area, just you know, to be safe. You don't want to risk your board's life for no reason. And once you're done with your overclocking and you really want to clean your board up, like I said before, 
just grab a hair dryer and spray it out this way it will drip like water and then you can wipe it off and actually afterwards when you hair dry hair dry it out it makes the board nice and shiny like it that even it looks more new than when you bought it okay and also just because I want to I'm going to put some toilet paper in between here just the middle of the halfway line and then that should be good now what is going to get in here or in between the memory slots or to where the memory fin is connect awesome also when you put your memory in you can put some additional toilet paper I mean paper towels between the memory slots just to make it more airtight and and happy. Also what I forgot to do was um, insulate past here which is also important because um, it makes it more airtight because the memory slots they still get air underneath so even if you put tape like I did here even if, I, if you put tape on air can still come in from underneath unless you properly seal most of it off and just because I had Vaseline on my fingers it already feels like my art eraser is getting a little bit sticky so don't mix the two last bit over here and there that should be it um, I'm just going to show you close basically just that vicinity also this area over here you can even if you want you can insulate in there or just put a piece of tape over and it should be fine you can insulate the back of the board if you want um, it's actually a good idea just to just tape it up or even art eraser but uh, with my methods I don't need to because um, I put it I create an airtight seal when it, when I put it on this piece of armor flex. Then no air gets in, no frost builds, no water forms. Cool. Thanks.